Our universe took shape in the form we know today approximately 14 billion years ago. Shortly after that, light began to propagate through space across the early universe, while the universe itself was expanding. A few seconds after the moment of the Big Bang, a phase transition triggered the exponential expansion of the universe. This period is known as cosmic inflation and concluded a few seconds after the Big Bang. Essentially, from the moment of its formation, the cosmos has been growing at increasing rates. Physicists and mathematicians have been studying the nature of the universe for hundreds of years, attempting to unravel the mysteries it contains. However, there are some scientists who take another step into the unknown, pondering what lies beyond our universe. Is it possible that beyond the existence of our universe, there is something else? Other universes or worlds, the existence of which we can only speculate about? It very well could be so. Here are five theories about what that something might be and what keys exist to unravel various theories. If you enjoy our videos, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the new content we are preparing for you. Hubble Volume The concept of outside the universe is very complex because first, we need to define the universe more precisely. A more accurate term, which better reflects the essence of the question, is the observable universe, where the speed of light plays a crucial role. Since we only see things when the light they emit or reflect reaches us, we can never see beyond the farthest distance that light can travel during the entire existence of the universe. According to cosmologists, the oldest photons we can observe have traveled a distance of 45 minus 47 billion light years since the Big Bang. This means that the size of our observable universe is approximately 93 billion light years. These approximately 93 billion light years contain all the quarks, quasars, stars, planets, nebulae, and black holes ever recorded by a telescope, and everything else we could observe but haven't seen yet. The observable universe contains only the light that has reached us. This also means that the observable universe is getting larger and larger. However, it also has an endpoint. This bounded region is also known as the Hubble Volume, named after the telescope that provided us with the farthest views of the universe. We can never see beyond this limit, so it's essentially the only universe we can ever interact with. However, with a high degree of probability, we know that beyond this limit, there is more universe. Astronomers believe that the unseen space may be infinite. Matter, energy, galaxies, and so on are distributed in a similar fashion to the observable universe. Beyond the Hubble volume, we might find not just other planets, but other Earth-like planets. If we go far enough, we might encounter another solar system with a planet identical to Earth in every way, where this morning we had cereal for breakfast instead of eggs, and another world where we skipped breakfast altogether. Or another world where we woke up in the morning and went to rob a bank. In fact, cosmologists believe that if you go far enough beyond the universe, you could find another Hubble volume that is entirely identical to ours. And within this other Hubble volume, there's another version of us that reflects all possible actions we could take. It may sound unlikely, but again, the infinity of the universe is very challenging to wrap one's head around because it goes beyond human imagination. According to the theory of relativity, objects close to each other cannot move away from each other at speeds exceeding the speed of light. However, for objects that are very far apart and the space between them is expanding, this law doesn't apply. In short, it's not that the objects are moving faster than the speed of light, but rather that the space between them is expanding, causing them to move away from each other at a remarkable speed. This means that we could reach the edge of the observable universe only if we developed a means of transportation that allowed us to either travel faster than the speed of light, a theory most physicists consider impossible, or venture beyond the bounds of spacetime using wormholes or warp drives, which again most physicists also deem impossible. Dark Flow In 2008, astronomers discovered something very strange that they didn't expect. Clusters of galaxies were moving in one direction at a tremendous speed of over 2 million miles per hour. New observations in 2010 confirmed this phenomenon, known as the dark flow. Scientists detected this phenomenon by studying some of the largest structures in space. Giant Galaxy Clusters These clusters consist of about 1,000 galaxies and very hot gas that emits X-rays. By observing the interaction of X-rays with the cosmic microwave background radiation left over from the Big Bang, scientists can study the motion of galaxy clusters. X-rays from the clusters scatter photons in the relic radiation and alter its temperature due to a phenomenon known as the Sunny-Zeldovich chymatic effect. 
This effect was previously unobserved in galaxy clusters but was first noticed by a research group led by Alexander Kashlinsky, an astrophysicist from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. When they studied around 700 clusters located at distances up to 6 billion light-years halfway across the universe. They compared these clusters to the map of the cosmic microwave background radiation obtained by NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe Satellite. The motion of these clusters contradicts all predictions of mass distribution in the universe after the Big Bang. One possible explanation is massive structures beyond the Hubble volume that exert gravitational influence. Scientists are almost certain that the source of the pull is located beyond what we know is the universe. This would imply that the structure of an infinite universe is non-uniform beyond our point of view. As for the structures themselves, they could be virtually anything, from concentrations of matter and energy on nearly unimaginable scales to whimsical fault lines where gravitational forces stream in from other universes. Infinite Bubbles Discussions about things beyond the Hubble volume can be misleading because it's still the same universe, we just don't see that part of it. The same physical laws and constants apply there. In another version of the story, the universe's expansion after the Big Bang led to the formation of bubbles in the structure of space. Each bubble stopped expanding along with the rest of space and formed its universe with its own laws and physical constants. In this scenario, space is infinite, and each bubble is also infinite because one infinity can contain an infinite number of infinities. Even if we somehow managed to break through the boundary of one bubble, the space between bubbles would still have expanded, so we would never reach the next bubble, no matter how fast we moved. Black Holes A theory proposed by physicist Lee Smolin, known as the theory of fecund universes, suggests that each black hole in our universe triggers the creation of a new universe. Each universe will have slightly different physical laws than the previous universe. Thus, Smolin proposes a kind of natural selection for universes. Because the laws and physical conditions that lead to the formation of black holes are also the cause of the formation of other universes. Universes that don't form black holes die out. Since then, this theory has been refuted by Smolin himself and others. Infinite Multiverse There are countless theories about parallel universes, but the most effective one to date involves the further development of string theory's idea, the so-called membranes or brains that vibrate in extra dimensions. A detailed explanation of string theory and membranes is beyond the scope of this video, but the essence of the theory is that the vibrating membranes between worlds and extra dimensions represent entirely different universes, and when these vibrations collide, new universes are formed. The effects of these wave motions help explain the observed distribution of matter in our universe. One of the strangest elements of the theory is the notion that all the gravity we experience in our universe actually enters this universe from another universe, from another dimension. This explains why gravity here appears so weak compared to other fundamental forces. What are your thoughts on the existence of unknown worlds beyond our universe? Does infinity exist? If so, how truly infinite is it? Parallel universes, matter warping, string theory, membranes, and black holes, do you think it's all nonsense? Or is there something real to it? Share your thoughts with us in the comments.